Empowering Habits You Should Live By Now you are all set to break your bad habits and form empowering new habits. If you are finding it difficult choosing which new habits you should form in your life, then we have seven ideas for you in this video. 1. Establish an empowering morning routine. We have discussed the benefits of a good morning routine already. Now it is time to make it happen. It is essential that you get a great start to each day, so think about the things that you can do when you first get up to achieve this. Doing some gentle stretching and breathing exercises is certainly a good thing to do. You can find examples of these online, and they will not take you very long. A few minutes spent in the morning doing this will get your heart pumping and improve your circulation. Creating a plan for the day is another good idea. Take a few minutes first thing to write down the things that you want to do. This will help avoid uncertainty and anxiety. Write some positive affirmations that you can read out loud every morning to put you into a positive frame of mind. 2. Exercise every day. This is an excellent habit to live by. When you exercise just a few minutes each day, you will improve your health and well-being. It will help you to fight off health problems such as high blood pressure and heart disease. After exercising, you will feel great because you will release those feel-good endorphins into your system. Regular exercise also helps you to develop your strength and endurance so that you can tackle anything that comes your way. 3. Do not relate happiness to things out of your control. There are so many people that let things that are out of their control dictate whether they are happy or not. The economy has taken a nosedive, so they go around moping all day long. It is raining outside, and they are only happy when the sun is shining. Closer to home, do not tie your happiness with that of your spouse. A lot of people do this. If your spouse is feeling down for some reason, then you automatically feel down. You need to find things that make you happy independently of things that you cannot control. You are always going to have bad days. We all do. Learn how to bounce back from anything that has made you unhappy. It is okay to be sad and upset for a short period of time but you need to break out of this as soon as possible. 4. Don't waste money on pointless possessions. Are you someone that likes to buy a lot of possessions? If you are, then consider this. Possessions lose their flavor pretty quickly. How often have you been excited about buying something, and then when you got it, quickly losing interest in it? Get into the habit of spending money on experiences instead. An experience will inspire you a lot more than a possession will. Experiences form part of who you are and will help you to become a better person. Your experiences are unique to you and are much more likely to make you happy. 5. Get into the grateful habit. Being grateful for what you already have is a great way to live. We recommend that you start a gratitude journal and write down three things that you are grateful for each day. It is a good idea to add this to your morning routine. Gratitude is not just about things. You can and should be grateful for the people in your life and the things that they do for you. You can be grateful for the fact that you have good health and that you have the money to put food on the table, etc. Living a life of gratitude will bring you more than you can ever have imagined. 6. Be spontaneous. This may surprise you as habit formation is all about routines and consistency, but don't ignore an itch to do something now and again. Spontaneity is good for you now and again and helps to make life interesting. Find happiness in surprises that you experience. 7. Live by a budget. Are you in control of your money? Most people are not. A great habit to develop is a budgeting one. Look at all of your expenditures and cut out what isn't necessary. Then create a budget around your essential outgoings, your financial plans for the future, and your fun money. Essential outgoings will include things like the electric and gas bills, telephone bills, internet access, groceries, car payments, and so on. Determine a percentage of your income to save every month for your future. Work out what is left for fun money or flexible spending. If this is not enough, then look at ways to increase your income. In the last video, we will look at the best practices for breaking bad habits and forming new ones.